Welcome to Women's Bootcamp 2019. I'm here for the weekend to experience what our national servicemen go through in the army. I'm excited to try all the activities, so let's go! <laughs> so we have a standard issue women's bootcamp backpack. And inside we have a t-shirt, hat, army water bottle. There are 111 participants at this year's event. The youngest is 13, while the oldest is 60. All of us were assigned to a platoon and section, just like in the army. These are my section mates! Bye! <laughs> After lunch, we learned how to handle the Singapore Assault Rifle 21 or SAR-21. Remember, you need to fire with your right eye, right hand. Every soldier is supposed to treat their rifle like their wife, or in my case, my husband. They are required to be proficient in weapon handling and technical knowledge. Next up was the personal equipment station. I actually practiced putting camo cream before camp, so let's see whether I do it better this time. It actually doesn't smell so bad. The first time I did it, it smelled bad. Because I think the cream was old. Oh no! We also got to try on the load-bearing vest. Yay. After quickly wiping off my camel cream, we sampled combat rations including glutinous rice and desserts. This tastes like pasta but I don't know why it is. Very a bit starchy. Oh I like this. This is like the creamy pasta sauce. Mm. It's like curry with sweet corn. Now we're about to take on the standard obstacle course. So I've been looking forward to this but I'm also a little bit nervous because I don't know whether I can tackle the low rope because I have like zero upper body strength. And also the window looks kind of high so we'll see how that goes. There are 12 elements in the standard obstacle course. The SOC is designed to test a soldier's agility, movement and strength. The SOC is definitely not as easy as it looks. Uh, I struggled with the low rope a lot. Like my arms are still burning and I only made it up halfway as you saw. Kudos to all the NS men who do this. <laughs> Soon, it was time for bed before a 6am call time the next day. Safety is key at the women's boot camp. Participants were made to take their temperature regularly and do a water parade before physical activities. For recruits, the 24km route march represents the final hurdle before they pass out from basic military training, or BMT. We did an extremely scaled-down version for 2km. We also simulated a casualty evacuation with a 20kg jerry can. One, two, up. One, two, in. One, two, up. In, out. In, out. Participants learned important first aid skills like how to perform CPR, tie a tourniquet, and casualty evacuation without a stretcher, 
For the first time, participants were introduced to night fighting and urban operations equipment. These high-tech devices are meant to equip soldiers to fight in realistic situations. Now we're about to navigate through an obstacle course in the darkness using our night vision goggles. I had to crawl under tables, cross a balance beam, and identify four objects from a distance. We also watched the firing of a general purpose machine gun and had a closer look at section weapons. It was time to put our SAR-21 weapon handling skills to the test. Now I'm pretty excited to try this out because I was from Air Rifle Club back in JC, but I think this is going to be quite different. Just as the fun began, the women's boot camp drew to a close all too soon. The whole experience has been very enriching. Um, I think it's very fun and interesting, especially the SOC. At first I was very nervous, but then after seeing my, uh, my teammates trying and not giving up, my confidence grew and I was able to overcome my fear. In the future, will my son join NS have a better idea of what they are going through? My philosophy is I must do something different every year that I have not done it in my whole life. So this is one of them. I'm so glad that I joined. If I don't join, I think I'll miss so much thing in life that I've not know. I, I, I will not know that you know uh, our guys has gone through that much just for that two years. Well, I never expected to see this, but I'm a little sad that boot camp has to come to an end. All of us got to bond really closely in this very short time. And while it was fun and sometimes challenging, I also appreciated that the instructors placed a lot of emphasis on our safety and well-being. More importantly, I think Women's Boot Camp has given me a better sense of what the Army is like. This weekend is definitely no comparison to the two years of training our National Servicemen have to go through. So the biggest salute goes to them who have to go through this training to defend our country.